Welcome to Gibraltar. We're gonna get on the cable car and go to the top of the famous Rock of Gibraltar. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Gibraltar. The sun is just coming up and we are first in line to get some tickets to go to the top of the famous Rock of Gibraltar. I have been interested in all things Gibraltar and the Rock of Gibraltar since my childhood. Can't really explain why, but it has been on my bucket list to get to Gibraltar at some point in my lifetime, get on that cable car and get to the top of the Rock of Gibraltar. Whenever I get a chance, I tend to read about Gibraltar's history, geography, geopolitical situation, strategic importance throughout the last few centuries, its Brexit situation, its relationship with England and Great Britain, how it's called a British overseas territory and city, and how it's at the southern tip of the Iberian Peninsula and it's actually an isthmus. I think it's always intrigued me because it's a very unique place in the world. This video will be mostly informational and instructional, but the travel and history lover in me will be smiling ear to ear as I present as much information as I can about the cable car in Gibraltar up to the top of the Rock of Gibraltar. First of all, we arrived in Gibraltar on a Sunday afternoon, went by, tried to get on the cable car, and the lineups were huge. So number one, I'd say get there early in the morning. And number two, be aware of how many cruise ships are coming into port on a given day because that is gonna basically dictate how busy it's gonna be on the cable car and on the top of the Rock of Gibraltar. This slide here goes over the price options. The top option is simply cable car up and back. And that is 19 Gibraltar pounds. The second option is cable car up and return back down plus the nature reserve. And I'm gonna talk about the nature reserve a little bit later and what that encompasses. The bottom option here is cable car up and then access to the nature reserve. Now the nature reserve is gonna require some walking. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but some people take the cable car up and then walk around the nature reserve and slowly work their way back down into Gibraltar, the city. So they don't really require the cable car coming down. The option we're gonna talk about today is simply cable car up and back. The cable car runs seven days a week. Hours are 9.30 in the morning to 7.15 at night. The last cable car comes down at 7.45 except from the 30th of October to the 31st of March. Hours are 9.30 to 5.15 with the last cable car coming down at 5.45. The cable car ascends roughly 412 meters. It takes approximately six minutes. The cable car runs continuously throughout the day, approximately every 10 minutes. They opened at 9.30 sharp. I want to thank Pilar, the ticket lady, for giving us a map and explaining all the options and all the sites we should see. We got our tickets. Let's go. We are pumped. We are getting on the cable car. Normally a cable car holds 30 people. I don't think our cable car is going to fill up. If you don't want the long lineups, get there early in the morning. As the cable car fills up, I just want to let you know that once the ride starts, I will stop talking and let the in-house person give information about the cable car. Benvenuto alla Funivia. Il nostro tragitto is welcome to the cable car. Our ride 412 meters up to the top of the rock will take approximately six minutes. During your top of the rock visit, you will encounter the famous Barbary macaques. These are wild, free-roaming, tailless donkeys. They have sharp teeth and will bite if provoked. Please do not feed or attempt to touch them. 
Feel free to take photos, but please keep your distance. You should not take out or display any food or plastic bags, as the monkeys will grab them. You should place rucksacks at your front to protect your belongings. Located at the summit, the Lawrence Calpe Sweet Restaurant offers a varied menu of meals, snacks and drinks while you enjoy the spectacular view in a unique setting. We have a small gift shop where you can purchase a range of souvenirs. An audio tour can be downloaded to your mobile device using the QR code issued at the ticket office via our free Wi-Fi. It will highlight points of historical interest as you wander the terraces. If you have purchased an entry ticket, you will be able to access the nature reserve and admission to its many sites. The Skywalk Glass Platform is a 10-minute walk downhill. St. Michael's Cave is a further 10-minute walk. If your plans change, you can purchase an entry ticket in the restaurant. From April to the end of October, the cable car will not stop at the middle station. Please see the signs on your arrival at the top station for the last cable car down. In the event of an emergency, please listen to the instructions of the attendant. We hope that you enjoy your Top of the Rock experience. After the lady finished giving instructions in the cable car, it was interesting that it got quiet in the cable car. The higher we went, the better the views got, the quieter it seemed to get, the more you could see people's eyes looking out over the vista. I wish I had another camera to look at the people's faces in the cable car. For the rest of the way up, I'm just going to be quiet and let you enjoy the views. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. We made it to the top. The ride up was awesome. We went to the Top of the Rock Cafe and we got some coffees and then we went out to the various terraces and saw the views. We went to all the different terraces and took picture after picture after picture. Welcome, Welcome to, to Gibraltar. Gibraltar! We concluded that we can see three countries from the top of the Rock of Gibraltar. We can see the Costa del Sol, which is part of Spain. We can see Gibraltar and then across the Straits of Gibraltar, we can see Morocco. So not only can we see three countries, we can see two continents, Europe and Africa, from the top of the rock. Well, after we looked at all the different views from all the different terraces, people always told us if you get to the top of the rock of Gibraltar, you've got to go see the monkeys. So we're going to look for some monkeys. And sure enough, within seconds, we saw this monkey. It was bigger, hairier, beefier than I thought it would be and uh, if I look scared in this picture it's because I am scared. Growing up in Canada how often do you see a monkey? Like I don't know what the monkey temperament is. I have heard horror stories about these monkeys up on the rock of Gibraltar taking people's stuff and attacking people so 
Uh, I was very hesitant about getting too close to these monkeys. The babies looked very cute, but the males looked a lot bigger, more muscular, and thicker than I thought they would be than any monkey I've seen before. It's best not to tease the monkeys. It's a huge fine to feed the monkeys. Sure, we did see some attacks and we saw some monkeys stealing people's hats. Uh, they went into somebody's backpack and took some food. But other than that, if you respected them, they were pretty good. We did hear various screams from monkey attacks when we were up on the rock. But if you just kept your distance and you respected them, everything was fine. This gentleman here accidentally had the monkey put some fingers in his mouth. We had a great time seeing the monkeys. It was time to head back to the cable car. We're gonna head to the restaurant there. It's an award-winning restaurant for a little bite to eat before we head back down into town. After getting on that cable car and having an awesome ride up, uh, looking at the views from the different terraces, and seeing the monkeys in the wild, and then uh, heading back and having a great meal with great views. It was time for us to go out one more time on the terrace, have a little look, and then get on the cable car and head back down. I just wanna say thanks for coming along with us. This has been a real bucket list experience for me. And uh, as I normally say, ciao for now.